Woof, woof. started on the other side we were catching all them small cabs then we worked to the ocean side started catching keepers so we're going to start on the ocean side hopefully we're going to pull out a couple keepers gut them we're going to try to figure out how to use that for crab bait <laughs> we'll see if that works out probably not crap a palooza I think that damn hook is too small. Get me a nice. Number six. There you go. That's a close one. A little bigger hook, I hope the small cab can swallow in it. It was like, darn, that cab swallowed it and you gotta. Put it back anyway. Try to do a good job of moving it. The old surgeon. She wanted to go up and get him next time. A nice crack right down here, you can just kind of see blue. Something blue. Get his little cab. He, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't uh, swallow the damn hook. Thank God. Little cabby. Hey, that's my little cabby, mama. This is about as far out as I've ever fished on the South Jetty, and it's kind of nice. It's probably 15 feet out there. Cast a line, let it drop for a while. If you watch my videos, usually I'm fishing in five foot of water. And I get a bite, almost immediately. There it goes. And then it starts taking a little bit of line. I actually have to tighten down my bail. And while I'm doing that, the wily old fish is going to go into a hole, snag my line for a while. First, I'm a little panicked, but I've learned, wait a little bit, give it some slack. Sometimes they come right out. There it goes, it came right on out. And then I have to reel up here for a little while, which is kind of a rarity for me. Even better, this turns out to be a real nice fish. Oh, see the fly. Yeah, baby. That's a very nice fish. Yeah, that's a really nice fish. It's a copper rockfish. You can tell not only by the color, but by that stripe going down. And I want to tell you, that is one tasty fish. Firm fleshed, best tasting fish I have ever had. And the only place I've ever caught them is the South Jet. 
That was a nice day fishing. But with all the poop around, I decided to take a, a little rinse before packing up and, uh, and leaving. And therefore, I had water dripping off my wetsuit down to my feet. Because of that, because I was tired, this happened. I was fine, I just got a big bruise on my butt, which I'm sure no one wanted to see. Just a little dazed. My stick kind of fell over the edge. I guess I was lucky not to uh, go down there myself. So Just have to be a lot more careful when I go out there. Yeah, you might think someone that uh, had a fall like that might stay away from that uh, jetty. Nope. And in fact, a couple weeks later, after a good rain, some good swells, I kind of wanted to go back out there and see what the jetty looked like and cast a line or two. And uh, here's a couple of the fish from that video. Looking down the sand spit. Nobody here today. Just felt like coming out and taking a look. It's been raining. As you can see, there's no reason to really go out to the end of the jetty because the swell is too big, the surge is too strong. It doesn't look like the rock fishing on the harbor side would be any good either. So I decided to cast away from the jetty and see what might be lurking inside the harbor. And it didn't take long to get a whole bunch of nibbles. Okay, out here on the old South Jetty again. I got my high low going right now. A little squid on there, a little torpedo weight. Two on city cars. There's something out there, but hey, I got something here. Chip up, but something barely hooked. That's the first jack smelt I ever yeah. caught. I thought about keeping it, and then I, I realized I didn't really have any place to put it. I wasn't set up about it. And then I decided, well, why would I want to keep it anyway? The outdoor chef guy couldn't even make one of these taste good. So. But I figured I'd catch another one just for the fun of it. Smelt there. Uh, nothing to do with these things anymore. Fake biting bastards. Alright, let's go home. So that was another fun day. Here's a list of all the types of fish I've caught out the South Jetty. I still have a goal of getting all the way out to the end and uh, catching, uh, see if I can get a lean cod out there where it's deep, or at least another copper rockfish. So you can look for that. Uh, that probably won't happen until spring because you really need the swells to drop down below uh, one foot. Meanwhile, I think I'll head on back up to Cayuca. So some caves out uh, the coves up there. I don't know. Maybe Montana de Oro. Either way, I'll make a nice video and uh, I'll be seeing you next time.